That was hard to listen to. Yeah, I'm sure. Did you think you would ever see them after no, that? No. The last contact we had had was she sent a <laughs> message that said, you're not my dad. Yeah. You don't know who my favorite band is. You don't know oh. what color I like. You don't know the movies I like. You're nothing to me. Don't ever reach out to me. It was a straight up, thank you very much yeah. for your DNA contribution, but you can just... Peace out. Peace yeah. out. Yeah. And right. so when she was 14, she reached out. And so we talked four or five times. Mm -hmm. And then we got to do this, like Zoom, but it was before Zoom. It was some sort of video... Yeah. And um, we had our hands on the screen. Yeah, and know. she had written, she had written, "I love you" yes. on her hand, uh -huh. and she's sitting there like this, and she says, "Dad, no matter what, I'll see you when I'm 18." And the screen paused, and that was it. Wow. wow. Her internet got cut off. Got Whoa. It. So I didn't hear from her again for a while, got a couple it. years. Got wow. It. And uh, that was a rough moment. I still have the screenshot on my phone. Oh, that's, that's sweet. And that was the first moment we had seen each other. Right. Since she was... Ten. Ten. Ashlyn says it was her mother and stepfather who switched off the internet in the middle of that conversation with Dizzy. I got into a vicious argument. And I ended up getting kicked out. She had called me and let me know that she was homeless. She was 14. And I have no legal right to drive up and pick her up. She's not my child, according to the courts. My stepdad and my mom came to pick me up. They told me that if I wanted to continue living in that house and have a happy family, that that meant 